Hello everyone, in this video we are going to explain how to update the firmware for PLC and we are going to focus uh, in this video on how to update the uh, Schneider Logic Controller uh, Modicon M241. First, let's have a, a brief introduction about what is firmware and why we need to update it and what is the importance of updating the firmware. The firmware actually is uh, making as a bridge between hardware and software. So to simplify it, the firmware for a piece of hardware, it's like the operating system. So when you try to program some hardware, and in our case, this is PLC, when we try to program the PLC and upload our program into the PLC, the software that is, re that is responsible to uh, interpret and uh, convert our uh, program into binary code, this is the firmware of the PLC. And this binary code translated uh, by the firmware affect the actions of the, of the all inputs and outputs, the memory and registers and communication network uh, signals. So uh, most likely this firmware is designed, installed and embedded into the PLC by the manufacturer before you purchase the PLC. Okay, so the question here is now why we need some time to update the firmware. Manufacturers of any hardware, they try to make a continuous improvement in order to create updated versions and better uh, versions of firmware. So there are some benefits of updating the firmware. And by the way, this, this process is also called uh, or commonly known as flashing the firmware. So this is the same terminology here. So by updating the firmware, we get the following uh, advantage. First, we improve the functionality and, and the features of the PLC. We fix some performance issues that may occur during uh, implementation or programming, and we maintain the PLC compatible with newly developed uh, modules. But there is a warning here, please, when you uh, try to update the firmware, you have to be very careful about the correct firmware for your, for your uh, PLC. Otherwise, the PLC will not work properly, and in the worst case, uh, could be damaged. So when, when do we need to update or flash the firmware? When the PLC becomes incompatible with new versions of software, in this case, we will need to update the firmware. Most likely also, when you uh, use the PLC for the first time for programming and implementation, the firmware flashing uh, will be uh, needed. So if you try to program the PLC for the first time, so you may get some message like this, this one, this is what happened in our case for programming the PLC, the Schneider Modicon uh, controller M241. When we try to program the PLC for the first time, we get this uh, incompatibility issue, which shows that our version of hardware is not this is one. This one. Uh, this is the online version, which means the hardware that is uh, actually connected to the, to the to the computer now is not compatible with the uh, version of PLC uh, included in the software. And in this case, we have to update the uh, version of firmware uh, installed into the PLC. So this update process can occur infrequently, so like once in several years or more frequently. And it happens more frequently if the device, especially if the device, the PLC device is connected to the internet. In this case, the firmware update is required in order to enhance the security features and keeping the PLC up to date with uh, these security uh, problems. What do we need to update the firmware of uh, Schneider uh, Modicon M241? First, we need, uh, of course, the PLC itself and we need a computer and this uh, this computer it has a programming software installed into it and then we need a connection cable to uh, make a connection between the plc and the computer this connection cable could be usb cable or ethernet depends on the version of plc that we are using and also we need the new version of the firmware that we need to install into the plc and finally we need an sd card formatted uh, to fat32 this uh, requirements you can find more details about it into the website of Schneider Electric and usually uh, in most cases uh, so this also applies for other uh, brands of PLC with other manufacturers you will find the uh, new versions of firmware on the manufacturer website so if you have a PLC and you want to update the firmware you will find the new version uh, into the website of the uh, manufacturer
So these are before we make this uh, updating uh, updating process of the firmware, we need to make this following step first. As we have mentioned, we need to uh, uh, format an SD card uh, to uh, FAT32. And here, uh, just a small remark, make sure that this SD card uh, is not in the right protection mode. So here, you you usually there is a small button here. It has two positions, one position for write protection, so you can't write into the SD card, and the other one uh, the other one to unlock this write protection feature, so you can format the SD card and you can write other programs into the SD card. So make sure first that the SD card in the, in the position of uh, not write protection. Then we need to format it uh, to uh, FAT32. So uh, it depends on your PC or your laptop. So some laptops, it has uh, some sockets uh, already built in in the, the laptop. So you can insert directly the SD card into the uh, socket and you format it. If you don't have it and you have just uh, normal uh, ports like USB port, you can uh, use some uh, SD card readers and then you use it to format the SD card. Then after we make this format uh, process, we insert the SD card into the PLC in order to start the process of updating the firmware. And after we do this, we need to connect the PLC with the computer, which has uh, the software, the programming software installed. And in our case here, for the Modicon M241, we need the EcoStructure Machine Expert, which is the software uh, uh, adapted uh, and developed by uh, Schneider Electric. And this software needs to be uh, installed into the computer that we are connecting to the PLC. And we make the connection, we can make the connection between the PLC uh, using Ethernet cables, like here, or using the USB cables, depending, of course, on the version of uh, your PLC and the available ports uh, into this PLC. Then, after we have prepared all the uh, hardware setup, we will follow the following steps that uh, I will explain it step by step in order to uh, to show you how to update the firmware. Uh, once we have started this process, please, you never interrupt this process. Otherwise, uh, when this process fails, you will not be able to program or use the PLC. So be careful. And when you start to uh, install the firmware, don't interrupt this process. Now, Let's go to see how to uh, make this process step by step. Now we are going to see how to do the firmware update step by step together. First, we open the software EcoStruction Machine, Machine Expert. We go to the uh, file menu, we choose new project. From this window, we select the controller, the exact version of the controller that we have here, which is this one in our case. We choose the programming language, language that we prefer. Here we write the name of the project and here we select the version of the controller and we press OK. It takes a few moments until it's done. We see here in the left side. Here, this is a controller that we have chosen. And this is the window in, in, in which we will uh, write our another program. We make a very simple program just, just first to show the problem and how we solve it by updating the firmware. So here we just uh, make a normal open contact and here we have a coil, very simple program. And this is the address of the coil and the contact. And then we make build in order to ensure that there is no problem. We have this window, we press Alt F and here we have uh, zero error and uh, two warnings. We don't worry about this for the moment. So now this is fine. So now we can start to uh, log into the controller in order to upload the download the program to the controller. Now here is the issue. When first no before this issue appears, uh, okay that's fine. We make uh, the process again. We make login. Press Alt F. Yes, this is the incompatibility issue that we have here because the firmware version is different from the firmware version in the software and the other one in the PLC. To solve this, we go to the controller uh, assistant. We choose the first one, open controller assistant. We have two options here, update firmware or manage images. We choose the first one, update firmware. We choose here the version of the logic controller that we have, which is M241. 
and here we choose the version of the firmware we only have one here so we don't have uh, more choices we have these options we don't change anything here we keep everything as this we press next again here we have two options write to a uh, flash disk or write to the controller we choose write on the controller don't worry about this we make it again yes here we have this window so we choose our controller tm241 ce24r we double click and then the other options we don't change anything here and we press connect yes here we need user login information because now we are now, now we are going to update the firmware which is a serious problem serious operation uh, process and uh, it shouldn't be accessible for everyone for the first time you use the plc schneider plc they have here if you go to the website they have the default username is administrator and it is also the password uh, the, the default password so we enter uh, the uh, administrator as a username and password we press ok now here it's expired because it's only used for the first time so we choose our new uh, new uh, new password we try to make it secure as much uh, uh, as possible i make it here short because it's used by other colleagues okay then we press okay this is like a, a warning that this will change the uh, setting of the uh, PLC, we press OK. Here we press Alt F again. And we wait a few moments until the uh, the update of the firmware is uh, done. It takes uh, like, as written here, of course it depends on your processor, so it takes here like five minutes. If we go to the website of Schneider, and we see the steps that is written over there it's exactly the steps that we are following here we just make it uh, together um, online on the software but here he they are they have uh, two methods the first one is to write the update image uh, on the sd card and then you insert it in the plc and this is the two options that we have if you remember uh, when we open the software and the other option is that you directly update the firmware uh, into the plc by using the connection cable so here they clearly state that you first have to uh, bring SD card formatted to FAT32 and then you follow the procedure that we are doing together here and they have uh, some video to show you the uh, some steps to help you in this manner now we go back now it's almost done so it's written here uh, successfully so now the update has been done successfully so we press ok and then we close the controller assistant now what we need to do is to check that if this process has been uh, done successfully or not so we are we are going now to log in again and try to download our program into the plc and to check if this process is successfully uh, done or not now there is a there is a hint here the update of the of the firmware into the plc requires some times in order the plc to be uh, ready in, uh, for uh, downloading downloading new programs so you will keep trying you will have some uh, error messages here uh, don't worry about this it is just because the plc is not ready yet to uh, program because of updating the firmware so we will keep trying to download the program and log in until uh, the CPU is successful or you can wait some time before you do this process so we wait here a few moments okay we try uh, again you see here that the controller is not shown yet because it's not ready okay we try to build the program again to make use of the time and then we go to login again press alt f yes now we have the message that the uh, 
PLC is not ready yet. Again, we have the message that the PLC is not ready yet for programming. We wait for a few moments. We try again. Still not ready. Actually, if you if you go to the website and you see the instructions here in the website of uh, Schneider, they state that it takes like a few minutes before you can uh, write and program uh, the PLC after updating the firmware. So that's okay. Nothing to worry about here. We try again. Yes. Now it starts to uh, to accept programming. Okay. We press okay. Yes. Here. Now we write, uh, we choose some name for the PLC and we enter the password that we have changed it uh, before. And we press OK. Here we have two options that the password can be changed by the user or the password uh, must be changed at the first login. You ch choose whatever you want. We enter the login information again. This is the username, this is the password. And then we press OK, yes, and then we press Alt F, we press yes, now the operation is successful. We see here that all the hardware components are covered by, by green, which means that the hardware is ready now for downloading. So here we uh, choose source download to connected device. Now we are downloading our ladder program into the PLC. Now it's done successfully. And the PLC now it is, it is in stop mode. We make it in the start mode in order to st uh, start operation. So we can make it here from uh, the uh, taskbar or from the menu. Now we see here it's now in the run mode. So now the actual PLC that's connected to the computer is now running. So we can physically uh, check the PLC. If we want to stop, then we press stop from here. But at this moment, we can't modify the uh, ladder diagram. We have first to log out. So either here from this menu, the, uh, online, and we uh, choose log out, or from here, we press on this icon and we uh, choose uh, log out. And now we can uh, modify and edit the ladder program. So I hope this was uh, clear. Thank you for watching. And if you have some issue uh, updating the software, don't hesitate to contact us. Thank you.